Hey, what's up? Welcome to Tech 160. Today I got the NES Classic Edition. I was able to walk into a Target today and just grab one. Uh, it was pretty readily available. They had quite a few of them, and the guy who worked there said they had them for about a week. So, uh, pretty pretty good grab. This is the second go around with the NES Classic. As you can see, it comes with 30 games, including some of the classics. Well, all classic, but some of the greats, like all the Super Marios 1, 2, and 3 that were for the NES. As you can see, as we start opening it up, it says, Now you're playing with power. It's a classic Nintendo line. Alright, so we're just going to bust this bad boy out and see what we got. And then we're going to hook it up and do a little bit of a demo. See uh, see how the interface is and everything. So first thing we have is, uh looks like an old school Nintendo poster with some instructions. Get that out of here. Next we have the console itself, neatly packaged. As you can see, it looks just like a little NES. It's got the power button, the reset button, the two ports for the controllers, HDMI out, and the power in. All right, next thing we have is the controller. And this is, looks like an exact replica of the classic NES controllers. Got your directional, select start, B and A. Now I've read uh, quite a few complaints about these uh, cords on a controller, that they're not quite long enough. Uh, as you can see it looks pretty short. I think it's about two and a half feet. So you're going to have to stand pretty close to the TV while you're playing. They do have extenders that you can get, so it's not that big of a deal. If you want to sit a little further back, just grab one of those. Now we got the power brick. And then the very bottom layer. HDMI cable and then your power cord and that's it that's uh, everything in the box so next we're gonna hook it up and we're gonna check out some of the games alright I had a chance to play around with this for a minute uh, looks like you can go into display and you can make a couple changes there. 4x3, pixel perfect, there's a CRT filter, make it look like you're playing on an old school TV. I did pixel perfect, make it look a little smoother. Uh, you can sort these by the type of games, recently played, times played, release date, publisher, title, and by two player games. So as you know they got 30 games on here. So I'm just going to go through and do a quick demo of a couple of them. You got your old school Super Mario Brothers. So not exactly taking my time, just flying through the first world, and as you can see, it's it's a pretty smooth experience. Uh, the graphics look, you know, I mean, they're 8-bit, but come on, it's not bad. Everything is pretty uh, smooth playing with the controller. Um, you hit the reset button on the actual console, and that'll take you back to the main menu. I'll fire up some Donkey Kong. I haven't played this in a while. And as you can see, it shows. So we'll go back to the main menu now. And we're going to check out another game.
Alright, and I hit the reset button again, take me out to the main menu, and if you press down you can save, uh, so that's pretty cool, you got four data slots where you can save your game, uh, you can lock it so you don't accidentally delete it, I try to move it to the trash, uh, as you can see it's not going to let me delete it because it's locked, so first I'm going to have to go ahead and unlock it. I can move it to the trash and then I can delete it. And you gotta confirm before you actually do it. Uh, a couple options demo, auto shutdown, running reduction, and you can restore it to the factory settings. Alright, so if you don't have one of these NES Classic Editions, I do recommend it. I think you should go out and try to get one. They're a lot easier to get this time around. Well, that's it. Don't forget to hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe to see more. And hit the bell notification so you know when the new videos are dropping. Thanks for watching.